Hi everyone, this is Mesolat Visual. In this video, we are going to create and model a box gutter hidden roof structure that will look great for both 3D and 2D drawings for the project you see on your screen. Make sure you download the tutorial resources in order to follow along with this tutorial that is provided in the link on the description. Here we go, let's move on. This is the project that we're going to use for this um, demonstration. Um, go down in the link on the description so that you can download this file so that you can follow along with this tutorial. So yeah, the first thing to do is let's change or turn the material for the roof to be a transparent element. Reason being, we want to see all the activities that will be happening on a roof structure. Uh, right away in the 3d window so let's select it and uh, go to the structure part let's set the structure to be an airspace building material and then if it doesn't show you go to the settings of the roof and then make sure under the surfaces you switch off the surfaces like that and then boom there we go like i said we want everything to be visible straight away for all the activities of the roof structure we're going to carry on Perfect. Let's move on. Um, we are going to open the roof plane so that we can start all the activities now. But before we do that, let's go back to the ground floor. There is um, the components that I've prepared in order for us to carry out this exercise. We would need the list of these elements. We would have to uh, produce a roof truss, which is basically the foundation of the roof structure would have the gutter itself would have the membrane for waterproofing our roof structure would have um, the pellets uh, sprocket brace for sprocket brace and sprocket blaze to box our gutter and then lastly the profiled sheet yeah so what we need to do let's um, open the roof plan the upper floor there we go and then let's start by placing or creating truss to create a truss i'm going to use or take advantage of the roof and then select it let's go to the design i'm going to open the roof wizard under roof extras let's find the roof maker oh sorry roof maker then create a rafter i'm going to create a rafter set the dimensions to your own standard for me according to the region standards um 38 by 104 is the starting point of the uh, lumber um, sizes here so i'm gonna hit ok once you hit ok you need to click on the screen to place your 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 rafter so by default it will come in a different um story so i need to say continue and then i'll locate it after placing it so let's maybe i suspect it's on the ground yes there it is let's select it let's relink it to the relevant story which is the roof there we go now we have the rafter here so this is the basis of creation of our truss this rafter we can also see um, the position of it on the section let's open this section I'll select it and right click open the section there we go here it is uh, it's not on the right position but what I'm I need to copy all the elements the 2d information that I've prepared for this from the ground and uh paste it on the all together this is how everything is coming together so your the roof structure will be like this so i'm gonna copy this let's copy this Control c and go back to the section and Control v to paste i'm just gonna paste it using the center of the current view drag it just here to be visible like that so what we are going to, we're going to do we're going to construct um this roof structure using uh this uh roof element already we've placed a a rafter so what we need to do is um is to align this with our roof so i'm going to say maybe select that suspend groups and move this to the let's see yeah there we go and then let's move this rafter to here because that's what we're trying to create and then 
um, obviously it takes a length of uh, of the this roof so I need to maybe have a guide here I'll say let's draw a guideline by hitting alt L in your keyboard we just place a guide there there we go so that we can select this uh, rafter and uh, stretch it to here but should it be something like that yes practically we have a, a, another bracing sprocket here to support the roof edge the roof edge so i would create a little bit of space between the roof edge and the truss so that for later detail we're not gonna detail that area i'll just leave it the way it is now and then what we need now we need this bottom rafter and then we the the struts so i can select this and make a copy let's say duplicate a copy to this area by Control shift d and then let's open its settings to change this into a a beam we can use a pair line so it's, it's still the same we set the, the dimensions to 104 by 38 okay and then wait okay where is it there we go move it to the position to start all the way from here then I'll stretch it all the way this this one is going to be sitting right at the middle of the the wall it's going to get its support from the wall so I'm gonna make sure it's let's just draw a guideline alt L this is the midpoint right yeah perfect and then we move on by doing the struts this there are posts and then we do the struts so i'm going to pick the parameters of this object and then i'm going to place this one on the roof plan because it's easy doing it there okay let's open its settings i'm going to go for the post post as well is going to be uh, 38 by one and four let's place it okay here it is if we check on a section let's see where okay here it is i need to move it sorry let's move it uh somewhere i'll use i need to move it right there so that i can use um a distance of 400 like that okay and then i'm gonna pick the midpoints to stretch it all the way and then make sure the other part sit right on the edge of the rafter like that so that we have this um, material protruding to the other we're gonna uh, clean up the detailing or the connection later on don't worry about this now and then i'm going to run a multiple copy of this along the uh, truss um, length so i'm gonna do it on the floor or on the roof plan so let's click on it um multiply let's say you are going to use a spread um, command so that you can set the distance between the elements it's going to be around one meter ah, no, let's use 800 center to center I'll pick this from the center then i'll run like that okay and then take advantage of the selection and hit ctrl g to group the elements let's go back to the section to position this yes i think everything sits the way i wanted let's um we can leave these elements the way it is or or manually let's ungroup or manually stretch them to the place like that but this will take forever for us to finish let's see on the 3d maybe we can um have a faster way of doing it i'm going to select all these members and then hit control i mean f5 in your keyboard to select or to select the selection or to put the selection on the 3d and then let's say we select all these um, struts let's select all the struts i think the space between is too tight what do you think 
let me just undo i'm gonna use a meter let's use a meter click here run multiple copies i'm gonna use one meter then uh, still one meter is too tight let's go for 1.2 yeah this will do the job yes perfect let's select all and group open its section yeah i think it's better this way let's select all these guys and hit f5 to select them on 3d what i wanted to show you here is how you can trim off all these ones so i'll select this the struts or the post then right click and bring the solid element um, operation from the connect uh, command so there we go by default to pick all the selected elements as a target so i need to select the operator which is the top um, rafter and then hit change the operation to subtraction with upward extrusion because we want to trim off the top part of the post so then hit ok so there we go i think it came out uh, okay that's what i was looking for right i think we might need an extra pattern here because this will bend along the the lifespan of the building so let's just add another and another copy here i'm not gonna worry with the dimension or with this distance let's see okay, let me just move it some here okay select this as a target this as an operator yeah perfect now i'm pretty sure the support of this will be fine pretty sure the support will be fine yeah i can bring as well oh yeah it's fine let's see on 3d we might say show all in 3d so that you can see the position of our trust so let's select all this and hit group we're left with the with the struts the triangulation of the truss we can also use the same approach we're going to um, pick or open the object let's find under the roof maker library let's continue find uh, the struts i think this will be appropriate let's set the dimensions to 104 by 38 to match um with the angle right now we're not sure what's what the angle we can hit okay and then set it later let's just place it here right drag it there check on a section to position it okay what i need to do is to pick it by the midpoint here and then place it by the corner there of which is important so now we need to stretch this to this point i'm not gonna use let's close off this i'm gonna use this stretch height also oh, stretch height doesn't work let's see let's touch the height again and then we take this point ah, i need to be accurate I need to be accurate so for me to be accurate let's do this oh what what happened okay as i was stretching it at the top here it, it's messed up the bottom side so i need to be careful with that so i'm gonna just move it back again to the position what i need to do is to rotate we need to set the angle first that's what i'm looking for let's just um we need this angle first i think it's 35 let's find this angle right click and then it's 41 so we need to set this gentleman to 41 degrees 
there we go and then drag it again here yeah perfect now it's accurate even if i stretch him back to here there's a little bit of discrepancies here let me rotate is it 41 is it 41 okay let me just leave it the, the way it is now um and then let's see how we can trim it off the joints let's delete the line and this guy okay so what i'll do i'll select this as a target and then right click to bring the solid element operation from connect and then select this as a, an operator and then i'm going to use subtraction with downwards because we want to trim off this material here and then hit execute there we go we're going to do the same select it as a target again and then use this as a operator with now upward extrusion so that you can trim off that material we do the same as well target and then we use this as an operator this time around we're just going to use subtraction because it's entirely covered by this element and then hit ok or execute perfect so now we have a clean connection between um the members that's basically how you do your your truss it's another way of doing truss the other way is to use um, a line and then use the truss maker tool i fancy that because i fancy that is is not an appropriate or efficient way of doing <coughs> sorry creating trusses it depends on the situation the complexity of your, your, your project for this kind of project where the trusses are all the same i just go for this um, method where i use the library parts of roof roof maker to assemble my roof uh, my roof structure there we go now we have that we can do the same in, to all these points but for now for this demonstration let's just leave it here because we still have a long way to go with the other activities so yeah i'm going to group this guy as one so that i can um, go back here on the section let's move it down to the position right on the roof <clears throat> okay so that's it let's carry a multiple copies from the roof plan run a multiple copy from here I think also we don't need the edge of the roof truss on the side to go all the way we need to create a, a distance for the sprocket like i said for the bracing of the roof edge for the fascia boards and other so i'll hit control i mean alt a alt l sorry to draw a hundred uh, millimeter guideline then i'm going to stretch this back here Okay, let's group them, run a copy, let's just do multiple copies, I'm going to use the same 1.2 distance, like that, okay, and then let's mirror a copy to the other side, check on 3D, change the override to simplified, okay, fantastic. It looks great it looks great okay let's move on to the next um, stage by it's now placing the pair lines the pair lines I'm going to use an object as well from the roof maker library let's open the object settings and find uh, let's go we can say roof let's find um, the buttons for the roof set the this to 48 i'm gonna use 48 by 48 pair lines and then the, the roof pitch is seven degrees then hit okay let's come here and place them there select and rotate to orientate them along the length of the roof okay before we stretch this or position this we need to make a copy of the roof and off sorry to offset the roof copy 
to the inside to create an, an 100 150 millimeters uh, roof edge we can use instead of a roof we can use a polyline let me just draw a polyline just like that and then take this polyline and offset it inside by it might be 100 no 100 150 for now okay so that we use this edge the internal offset to align our our pair lines let's stretch it to the, all the way to there pick this point to drag them to this side as well go to the section make sure it's in the right place Okay, this should be the start of our pair line. So from this side, because we're going to have a gutter here, I'm going to get rid of this one, the last one. So to do that, let's click here. Oh, I thought I can do that. Or maybe I can just move it to this point, and then go to the top, top view, and do it manually there okay yes I'm pretty happy now with the results yeah check on the 3d boy good it comes out the way I want okay now let's let's move on to the exciting part now the the, the, the main boxer detail so if we go back to the sketch we have um, we have all these different components that assemble this thing together this is um we can use a profile to carry out this exercise instead of doing this manually all together one by one it's going to take ages so i'm going to ungroup this and select select that i'm selecting the boss uh the gutter and it's all sprockets and the base plate with the waterproofing membrane so i'm going to copy this and open a profile manager from the options and complex profiles profile manager let's create a new profile by hitting on this blue i'm not going to duplicate make sure you create a new profile call it box Carton. and then you can create a folder and place it there and this for this um let me just say new folder of details Hit okay oh the name exists let's say root gutter a and then hit okay control v to paste by default it will give you this I don't worry about this control v to paste your your 2d information and then i'm going to use the center of the view to place it so i'm going to position this to the origin point because it will uh, determine the placement or the placing of our gutter on the plane so i'm going to use this corner or this point and move it to the origin point like that and then click outside the mq to complete the operation i can drag these guys outside the the drawing like that and then delete this okay I think this was was made by a feel and uh, and this I do not need to these are the ones that I need to fill them with a the fill so I'm going to take or activate the fill tool this is going to be a timber I would look for roof timber let's find timber roof and then by holding your space bar I can now place the the fill into these portions the reason why i'm, I'm specific with this uh, what you call these portions is to achieve this result on the drawings so if i had to drag or draw a box like this okay let me just i'm gonna show you the difference let's delete this and then i'm gonna instead of uh, doing that i'll draw a box like that this will be different from 
this one so you're gonna see the difference why i'm preferring to do it this way because i wanted to show on the section and on all on the cross section even on 3d cross section it has to show so let me do the same to these ones like so <clears throat> then i'm gonna apply also on these ones okay and then if i hit save i'm gonna use it with the beam tool here let's hit save the preview has to change now the distance that i'm worried about is this length of the membrane so i need to go back to the section and um measure the distance from here to there that's 8.316 that's the length of our of our waterproofing membrane so i'm going to draw a guideline of 8.316 from here 8.316 Okay, then let's drag the edge of this or offset the edge of this to wow that was to here. Okay. Then hit save. Okay, now let's now apply this into our roof structure. So let's use the roof plan to do that. And, uh, activate the beam tool from the design tool palette change the structure to a complex profile and then change the profile to the newly created boxed cutter there we go and then i'm going to use this edge to place the gut to this point do the same to this area to go all the way to there so if we check on 3d we need to we need to position this on a section it's not in the right position so start here drag this to there where is it where is it oh it's supposed to be on the top of the rafter like that okay so we need to adjust the truss you see i need to say stretch this to stretch this to here so i'm gonna do all the all the truss all the trusses should be aligned with this point that's the mistake that i've done and i'm paying the bill okay do the same to the okay this one i'll just drag it right on the edge here okay and then i'm gonna make sure it's not i think it's fine i think it's fine let's see the what else should we look at i think the height for this doesn't allow us so we need to set that um, our pair line to 38 instead of uh, 40 38 by 38 perfect now it's sitting on perfectly so the reason i was saying the difference you see now this one because i've just used a solid rectangle to create this it doesn't show the cross or the, the, the symbol for for a cross section of a uh, timber or whatever you can call it so we need to go back here and try to achieve that let's get rid of this or well, i can just copy these ones move it to here then hit on save another problem that i've seen is because uh, you see now because this they are on the same material the the bottom rafter and this they are on the same material that is why they're not creating a line in between but we need to have that line to represent this um accurately what we need to do is to change the material either for the bottom of our rafter or the 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 the, the, the sprocket member so i'm gonna go for this one let's change the material to maybe a different wood 
let's say timber different wood uh, we can say timber structural hit save if you go back we should have our line now as you can see we're gonna do the same with these ones just select them one by one like that like that set this to timber structure then hit save okay let's go back and see the results perfect now we have a clean um, well represented uh, box cutter detail I think you can see also on the you can see also on the on the roof truss between the pair lines on that so I can also change the material for this to be I think under representation materials let's set this to timber structure so that we can have that line All right okay I think I'm pretty happy with the results. Let's check on 3D and see how this came out. Okay. We have a problem. We haven't adjusted the... Okay, let's go back. Because we're just adjusting half of the truss length that side. We didn't do for this one. It's not visible now because um, we have another element on top of this so we need to change its its cover fill background to transparent so that we can see the underneath material so i don't want to okay i can just do it manually like so yeah like this ones no i need to reference it with the other one Let me just delete them. Let me select that. Delete. Go back to the ground. Um, to the roof plan. I can mirror a copy of these ones because they're basically the same thing. Control Shift M mirror with the center point. Perfect. So that's basically what we have. In terms of the structure one last thing we need to set is the is the the roofing sheets and you can see we have this line we have this gap created by the or around the edges of the wall so let me just get rid of the profile money and we can get rid of this by changing the inter intersection priority for the material so we need to make our water membrane to be stronger than our wall so i will select both of the materials the walls and the oh sorry let me just un, unsuspend both the walls and the waterproof membrane then we go up there under element attributes let's open building materials so you would have by default you'd have it um this list according to the folder structure but if you want to have just the list view, you click on this so it can give you all the list of the materials so what i need to do is to check this highlighted material for the selected components or elements in the model so we have for the walls and then um the wall intersection priority is around 712 i can make it 700 700 is pretty okay and then Let's find the vapor barrier, which is this material used to create our waterproofing. We're gonna set it just above our our wall so that it can be stronger than that. So I'm gonna set this around 715. So automatically to clean up the gaps created by the walls like that. Perfect. So we need to create uh, or place the roof. The roof um, sheets or whatever the roof finish let's i'm gonna use an object called a profiled sheet let's open the 
object settings and then just type sheet there we go we have this profile sheet let's change the profiles to a trapezoid and then if you move to the next page you can set the angle for the roof pitch to be seven degrees and then okay let's place it here there we go let's stretch it to fill in the the space like so check on 3d oh, of course we need to position it align it with the roof structure on the section view i think it's the one that i'm seeing here select it it has to start from here right on the gutter and it has to protrude to protrude a bit like that okay now it will be pouring water to the gutter like so i can trim off this can i move okay 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 somewhere there right right i think this needs to change as well this distance measure from here let's measure from here it's 8 so i'm going to edit this right click and edit selected profile i don't know why it's not yeah should be 8 I'm going to draw a guideline Alt L of 820 8420 What's going on here? Something fishy about this. Okay, how can to fix this problem for, for an, once and for good, I'll draw a line and then use this line. Let's just draw a line like that. I could have done this before and it could have been far. And then take this line, control X. Go back to the profile manager. I'm going to paste this line here to make it as a reference. Let's just paste there and align it from this to here click outside and then now we can offset the edge of this to our line okay our line ends here right then hit save it should be fine now and it should be fine there we go it's perfect okay let's check on 3d all right so let's bring back our roof change the material to oh we can just override here over the services let me see this will be metal this i'm going to use metal steel something like that and then i'm going to right click to bring in solid element operation the roof is going to be the target now what i want is the operator which is the the roof membrane or the yeah the roof membrane and the gutter or the profile go back to the 3d if you hit execute with upward extrusion it will create magic so that's the end of our exercise as you can see now the elements are in place our box cutter it's right perfectly positioned in the position we want okay that's basically what i wanted to achieve with this roof that's how you can approach this type of designs if you really want to hide your roof. the box cutter its purpose is to hide the roof as you can see from this view you don't see the roof it's flawlessly as you can see it's flawless from the 
the roof to the walls like that that's what the, the reason of it. here on the side we can play around with this we can leave the trusses exposed like this or we can cover them with some ceiling material it depends on the roof uh, on the design style okay that's basically it guys um thanks for tuning in for this video if you want to take or get this project file the finished project file go down in the link description is on our patreon um, memberships uh site just go there and download it for free thank you i'll see you in the next video